Kev. Where do I start? He's a very deep character. Uh, consists of many, many layers. I'm still trying to figure out Kev myself. And once I think I haven't figured out, he changes, he grows, he evolves. So he keeps me on my toes. What I have been most impressed about Kev throughout this prep is how he has dealt with the mental side of what he's going through, the mental battle. I've said it already, I had no issues with Kev getting in shape. I knew he'd be in shape on time because of his passion and his drive and his discipline. That wasn't going to be an issue. However, I was slightly apprehensive about how he was going to deal with dieting and also staying on top of business, his managerial position at Gary Moore, uh, maintaining strong relationships with his family and loved ones and friends. Um, but I have to say, Kev, you've done an awesome job. You've, you've exceeded my expectations. You really have. You've done better than I thought you, you would have. Um, and for that, I'm really proud of you. It's, it's, nothing, it's nothing short of inspiring, to be honest with you. And it takes a lot for me to say that because I'm not too easily inspired, um, as, you, as you well know. So I'm really proud of you for that. In terms of show day, I just wanted to say, enjoy it. You've put in all this work, you've suffered, really have. I've seen it, you've suffered. I've seen it firsthand, low calories, loads of cardio. So don't let that go to waste. Go on that stage and enjoy it. Embrace every little small moment, whether that's the journey to the venue, putting on your time, regist registering for the competition, backstage pumping up, talking to the other competitors, all these little small things. Just enjoy them and embrace the moment. And that's, that's, my, that's, that's my, my advice. And I know that you're gonna do, you're gonna do awesome. I think it's fitting to let the two main women in his life take it from here. Describe Kevin in one word. <laughs> one word to describe Kevin. Uh, oh God. Describe Kevin in one word. Gosh. <laughs> All the years I know him and I still, I don't think one word could possibly describe him. Hard working. Okay. Ambitious. I could, I could say about 20 words. I'd say Kevin is good humoured, yeah. Very good humour. Yeah. What's something about Kev that nobody knows? Oh gosh. <laughs> oh my god. Something about Kev that nobody knows. I couldn't start talking to your Kev. <laughs> <laughs> On this public forum. I know a lot of things about Kevin. <laughs> Should this be said on camera? <laughs> Kevin loves his sleep, loves his bed, loves his bed. Yeah. I think most people know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Something about Kev that nobody knows. He stresses a lot, but he doesn't show it to anyone. He'd be, he'd be under stress a good bit. His football and work and a lot of clients. So I think that's one thing nobody can really see from him. What was Kevin like as a child? He was the child from hell. <laughs> I had a very good child for about six weeks and I went to England and I came back and I had a potential from hell until he went to school. At, he was just four when he went to school. So he was four in the June and he went to school in September. And he whinged all those years until he went to school and then he settled. He didn't sleep. It's amazing now, he loves the bed. 
and he used to often say to him, well I hope yours are as cross as you are, because he would keep the whole house awake all night. Oh, he was a holy terror. They'll all tell you that. And you'd give him anything to quite numb, but didn't quite numb. He just wanted your attention all the time. Yeah. Has Kev competing uh, inspired you in your training lately? Oh my God, definitely has. The first posing lesson we went to with Dan O'Brien, I was like, I was watching him and I was like, they're sitting, I was trying to like pose myself while I was sitting down. So it kind of is inspiring me and I was like, okay, I'm definitely competing next year, which I'll, I'll see because I'm in fourth year of college, but I think it would be kind of good for me to do it. Oh, and I was like, when I was watching him and like when I see him do it and when I see him getting lean like every, like leaner every week. I'm just like, oh my god, I want to fucking do this. Like, I want to go for it. Um, so we're, I'm thinking about next year, but maybe the year after. We'll see with college work and stuff. He's a bit of a poser. Who did he get that from? Um, he took that from the Welshers. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah, definitely took that from his father's side. <laughs> my father actually on that side, I think. <laughs> Pass the mirror without looking at themselves. <laughs> <laughs> There's been obviously pros and cons of Kevin competing. Yeah, definitely. But I think um, it's a good experience for him for him to do it because he's never interested in doing it. Yeah. When Keen was competing, he was like, "Ah, oh, it's not my buzz. It's not my buzz." But I think it's a it's a good experience for him, and he's working awful hard with football and clients in the gym and himself on such a low carb. Like you'll see him looking drained now because it's coming so near, but he's enjoying it. I think that's the best part of it. It's definitely an experience for you as a couple as well to be able to go through something like this. Oh, definitely. I think so because, like I said, we never spended such a little time together as we do now. And it's like, he gets so frustrated, so everything gets so annoying for him. <laughs> and if I, we, were, we were arguing about shopping in Aldi and Tesco the last day because shopping in Tesco makes no sense to him. And he was getting so frustrated when I was saying this. <laughs> and I was like, Jesus, man, you gotta calm down. <laughs> but Ali is cheaper. So that was like a good half an hour, 20 minutes conversation. So I had to like calm down a little bit. You know, you know yourself. But um, I think it's a good experience and I like being part of that journey with him. Um, and I'm given the best support I can. In regards to competing, has it changed the way he acts around the house? No, because I didn't know he was competing until very recently in anything. <laughs> so, uh, no, because Kevin is very independent and he does his own thing and things and he's very private and he gets on with what he has to do. And really, I don't get involved in anything, you know, in relation to this or competing or anything, you know. And uh, as long as he minds himself and looks after himself and that, you know. I do feel sorry for him when I see him, some of the stuff he's eaten from time to, <laughs> from time, to time. Because he does love his food and he likes sweet stuff and that, you know. But uh, anyway, I love the chocolate cake made for him <laughs> after the competition. You know, uh, when he comes in at night time, I think that's the most time. And there might be some dinner left or we might be just after having dinner and he'd see then what we've been eating. And it is difficult now in fairness, you know, yeah, he likes his food. For some, for a child that actually didn't eat a vegetable at all, you know, he is totally turned around. So he never ate vegetables as a kid? No. no. Up, up until when? Uh, oh, I'd say it was late teens or that, yeah. Very late teens. And he's very particular about the presentation of his food. And he's, uh, he'd never want meat or vegetables or potatoes, anything, touch of anything else on the plate. Likes everything laid out. <laughs> Very particular like that. <laughs> Presentation is important to him. Gym owner, personal trainer, football manager, C competitor, and now YouTuber. What do you make of all him doing all of those things at once? What do I make of it? Um, oh, I, to be quite honest, I'm just... I'm just happy for him, he's doing what he wanted. It wasn't necessarily what we wanted for him, or I wanted for him especially. Mm. But if that's what he wants, I don't mind one bit. And uh, uh, Kevin lives here at home with us, and he's just, he's always, uh, you know, he's very good humoured and 
easy to have around the place. Apart from now, the tidying up that I'd have to do on him, but I suppose he is wasted on hand and foot all, everything is done for him. But, um, uh, no, I mean, if he's happy at it, that's fine. I don't, we don't mind at all. Or I don't mind, no. I don't mind, I don't mind. I think he's fucking mental. <laughs> I think it's so much, like, I don't know how he copes with it, but he does. Like, he does, he's working hard and he's getting his head around it, but, I don't know, it's, it's her job, like, you know, he has to edit videos and train and, like, then all these clients coming up and then we'll see him on the phone and I'm with him, 20 messages on uh, WhatsApp and he can't even reply to one, like, because <laughs> he's so much undoing. Um, but I think it's good as well because it keeps him busy and I like that about him. I don't to like the ones that go out for beer, you know, every Saturday, just keeps him in sight and he does his, his job and he works hard. I think it's good. I think this is awful hard working. Awful hard working. I know my family say that about him too. He's so much on his head. <laughs> Which I like. He doesn't even show it, like that he has so much of that going on. So, I like that about him. What's it like having a YouTuber in your house? What's he like going around with the camera? Oh, well, I don't mind any of that at all. It's picking up expensive cameras and pieces of equipment and cables that drive me crazy. And he's not half careful enough. <laughs> not half careful enough of them for the cost of them. That's what bugs me now. He's off with things under his arm and I give him bags but he doesn't use them. And I try everything so I end up minding the equipment. <laughs> What's the biggest change you've seen in Kevin <laughs> since he started uh, competing? The lovely potty is gone. You missed the pot? I missed the pot. The pot was so nice and it was so comfortable. You could cuddle something and it was just... I found it sexy. <laughs> I love the pot. <laughs> I came up with a nickname for him. I call him Chub because he's so chubby. <laughs> so his nickname is Chub. Since, since he got the pot and the cheeks. Yeah. Well, yeah, the pot was nice. I liked the pot. But, uh, he's, he's sexy now, too. Yeah. You, the abs, you, you the take abs. him You take him in all forms, he's sexy in all shapes and sizes. Yeah. I think, yeah. yeah he's, he's a sexy man. He's a good looking fella. He, he knows himself. Every morning, will, when I get up, and he gets up, he'd weigh himself and be like, See that now? I'm getting <laughs> And he'd be tense in the front of the mirror and he's like, look at my legs. <laughs> he'd, be, he'd pull up his boxers as hard as possible and he'd be like, look at my quads. It's a shame <laughs> that they won't be seen at the competition on stage. <laughs> but yeah, he does that a lot. And the veins, you know, the veins popping now on his arms. So he was showing me them yesterday. I swear, it was every like half an hour he'd done it. Tensing his, his, his muscles yesterday. Yeah, it gets him going. Yeah, it does. But I like the lean <coughs> face. He can have a pot, but a lean face. Mm. It's hard to do that now. I know. <laughs> I know. She's, it's awful hard watching him eat when he was, you know, bulking. <laughs> oh God. It was an experience to see him. I was, he was eating for 40 minutes and I'd be on the couch sleeping while he's doing it because it's so long. And he doesn't let me sit beside him while he's eating. He's kind of changed that now, but he wouldn't let me sit beside him while eating. Why was that? Distract him. He was like, I can't eat in front of you. Even though <laughs> when we go out for food, he fucking eats right in front of me. Are you proud of all his accomplishments so far? Oh yeah, but you kind of, you're proud of all your children mm. and all their achievements. And like there are five other siblings and you know, but I suppose he's the most one that has been here now, really. All the others were gone at this age. So he's the most one that's about. And, um, um, like, it's not difficult having him here at all. I have to say now, it's not difficult. Now, sometimes I might come in from work and start giving out, but uh, it is pots and pans. But he's improving all the time, I have to say now. Mm. What's the first thing he plans to do after his show? <clears throat> We're going to London for his posing, so we'll be doing, we'll be eating nice food there. Posing. 
photo shoot job. That's it. The photo shoot. Um, and then I'm obviously going away to America. So we're planning to just go for a night out in Dublin. District 8, his favourite place. And then just go for a Bunsen. And Pug. Just all the favourite places. Dobros and Jav, of course. All the favourite places. But we planned to, um, we made, we made turkey burgers and chips, potato chips, last time his refeed. We plan to do that more often. And my pancakes. I'm going to try them. They're really good. He was saying this to me in bed yesterday. He was like, oh, I'd love to have these potato pancakes. And he was like, do you know what would be so cool? Like, if I had a cooking book and I just put, like, Polish food, I cook Polish food, get all these recipes. He goes over these, I'm telling you, he goes over with these random ideas all the time. And I'm like, oh yeah, okay, this is going to be so cool. <laughs> because he has a new idea every day, like every time I see him. Um, and the breakfast is early, you know, the peppers and garlic. He's like, oh, do you know what get me going? Peppers and garlic with my steak. <laughs> I was like, okay, go for it. I'd say it'd be nice. <laughs> I'd wish him the best of luck with this competition. And I'm sure I'll see the pictures, or somebody will be telling me about them, or uh, t when I when he puts them up. And um, he's worked very hard. I know, you know, even though I didn't know it was for competition as such, but he does work. Anything he, if he sets a goal, you know, he'll see it through. He's very determined, and um, he's doing something that he loves, and he has great interest in people, and he's a people's person, and. He's a deep thinker and um, he likes, you know, he, he thrives on information. Let, it, let him get it from books or uh, media or whatever forum, you know. Uh, he'll hold his own and he's not for turn on either. <laughs> Despite our, uh, uh, sometimes of us having opposing opinions. But anyway, he'll hold his ground, he'll hold his ground. So we we'll wish him the best of luck anyway. Best of luck Kevin, I hope uh, you enjoy being on stage. I've been through this journey with you and I'm glad I have been. Um, it's been a good experience for us and uh, I hope, I can't wait to finally spend some quality time together, even though you give it to me sometimes. Um, I can't wait to just be eating all this good food with you. And not eating it by myself and I can't wait to go on, on trips and you know all that <laughs> yeah best of luck and I love you Pobo Zenia Kevin Kohamche all right Kev uh, best of luck on your show uh, you're smashing your prep I hope everything goes really well for you hi Kevin very best of luck in April all right Kev uh, best of luck in the competition and uh, whole gym is rooting for you but uh, also don't let us down. Hi Kev, Viv here. Just want to wish you the very very best of luck in your competition in a few weeks time. You've done really really well getting down from being a fat bastard to being a slim machine. So well done to you and the best of luck. Best of luck Kev. Best of luck Kev. <laughs> Kev, uh, first of all I'm loving the, the videos the last few weeks. Uh, very good, very entertaining. As well, um, best of luck in the first show. Hopefully it goes well and hopefully you enjoy the day and uh, well done. Good luck in your show. Hope it all goes well. Alright, good luck. Well Kev, I uh, just wanted to say the very best of luck in your upcoming competition. Um, I think it goes without saying you've put in a serious amount of time and effort into getting yourself ready. Um, it's a credit to you in fairness. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's fairly obvious that whenever you put yourself or your head into something you always give it 100%. And, Fair play to you. Um, yeah, all the best. Uh, enjoy it, and obviously, hopefully, there'll be a couple more competitions to go. Best of luck. Good luck, Kev. Hi, Kev. Very best of luck in April. Hope all the hard work pays off. Best of luck, Kevin. Best of luck, Kevin. Best of luck, Kevin. Come on, Highness. Best of luck, Kevin. Best of luck, Best of luck, Kevin. All the best. Best of luck, Kev. I know why they do well. Good luck. Best of luck, Kev. Smash it, boy. Best of luck, Kev. Best of luck. <laughs> Kev, best of luck man. Um, enjoy, enjoy the show. You've worked very hard so you deserve this moment. And that's all I gotta say. 
enjoy it man best of luck kevin uh, in the competition i'm sure all the hard work's going to pay off best of luck kevin and i uh, hope it all goes well and who knows you'll have a new niece or nephew when you come home kevin best of luck in your competition you're never one shy away from a challenge yeah there is supposed to shame um i know you do brilliant um uh, i hope to be there to support you and don't forget we're all very proud of you Best of luck, Kevin. Hope it all goes well for you. We'll have a box of donuts for you for the end. Best of luck, Kevin. I hope you win. Kevin Welsh, your conversion into all things Towie is nearly complete. All the very best now in the uh, show in the next few days. I know you're going to smash it. Any man who's willing to uh, give up as much as you undoubtedly have over the last number of months is going to get something from it which is worthwhile. So, uh, well done, no matter what. You've already proven yourself and done yourself proud. So, uh, nothing to lose, go and smash it. All the best. Best of luck, Kevin. Woof, woof, love Coco. Hey, Kev, just wishing you all the best in your show. Hey dude, uh, very very best of luck with your show, or two shows should I say, I know how hard you're working, it's very evident, you look amazing, above all else I just hope you enjoyed the experience more than anything, I'm sure you'll do yourself very proud. Kevin, just want to wish you the best of luck in your competition, I've been following you from the start and you've made amazing progress and looking forward to seeing you on stage, best of luck. Best of luck Kev. Hey Kev, just finished my favourite Friday sessions, can't really talk, but best of luck in your upcoming competition. Um, hats off and all the work you put into it, you're a real inspiration to us all and I'm super proud of you. Enjoy, have fun. Well Kev, best of luck in the upcoming competition. Keep up the hair work. Best of luck Kevin with the competition. Best of luck Kevin, wish you all the best. Then in the con we hear, I hear you're a big fan of mine and I just want to wish you good luck with the show, you're well able to do it. Good man. Best of luck in the competition Kevin. Best of luck, Kevin. Best of luck, Kevin. Hopefully we'll see you here after. And we'll see you here as well. All right, Kev. Uh, best of luck in the shows. Um, you're looking deadly, man. I know you're putting, putting in a lot of hard work. Um, I think you're going to do a lot better than you expect, so... Just embrace it when you get on the stage and show them, show them what you're made of. Best of luck. I uh, just want to say best of luck to Kev from uh, staff here and on the PT. Yeah, good luck, Kev. Hey, Kevin, Amy Fox here, all the way from Sydney, Australia. Just wanting to wish you all the best of luck for your first competition this weekend. Um, I must say, the posing lessons we did together were just awesome. I really enjoyed it, and I know you're going to be absolutely fantastic on stage. So, can't wait to see pictures and footage, and just have a great time. All right, catch you later. Bye. Right, uh, Kev, on behalf of the Gary Moore senior team, uh, just want to wish you the best of luck uh, in your upcoming competition. We know it's six, great dedication and discipline, and just good luck. Well, best of luck. <laughs> Hey Kevin, how are you mate? I uh, just want to say hello from uh, Down Under. Uh, myself and uh, Jada wish you all the best in your uh, show in a couple of weeks time. Uh, I know these last few weeks are going to be tough but you know what doesn't uh, kill you uh, only makes you stronger. Uh, yeah, I really, I, I know you're going to look amazing and I know these last few weeks are uh, not going to be easy but um, they're going to be doable by you because you're so dedicated and uh, and uh, to be honest, one of my best uh, best athletes I've ever had the pleasure of working with. So I know you're going to kill it. You're going to look amazing. But yeah, I just want to wish you all the best and um, hopefully we'll get to meet each other sometime soon. Maybe uh, down here, or I could feel like uh, you know I might get the urge to come over and be really cold and wet and miserable in Ireland um, and see you. But uh, it's much better down here uh, in the sunshine and warmth. So um, hopefully that'll happen. But yeah, good luck with everything. Not that you need it because you're uh, you're focused and um, everything will be as it should be. Um, talk to you soon, mate. Bye. <laughs> Welsh, with a 
short message for you. Hi Kev, uh, hope you keep well. Uh, it's great to see you finally lifted the weight off your face. Uh, I said for Murphy taught you neat and sorted there for a while, but uh, in fairness yeah, you're looking very well now. And the very best look of the weekend. We'll see you on the dance floor, boy. So I know it's your first competition and you're probably both excited and frightened. I did the same thing some time ago, it was a fitness competition mixed with performance. Nobody was exactly aware what to expect. Nobody wanted, nobody actually knew what going to be required. A guy who won actually got scored down for being too muscular and too lean, right? Don't worry, just stay true to yourself, yeah? Look in the mirror, this is how I like it, this is what's going to make you comfortable. And, and second competition, you can build on that, yeah? First competition, straight, say to the truth to yourself, look in the mirror, you like it, fine, let them like it, let them not like it, don't give a fuck about them. Just go inside and start having a little bit of confidence fun. So for example, in the first round, actually, I they throw me to the second, second six yeah and there was like second turn of comparisons and i just started listening to music and kind of almost kind of dancing inside yeah and kind of somehow i i could relax and then i started performing and and that actually got me to the first six yeah and at the end i finished at second so uh maybe start listening to music outside when you require just to stand like this Actually, maybe just do a, like a micro dancing or something like that. That reads me off a lot. Yeah. So that I, that's all I can say for now. And I uh, uh, wish you all the best. But most of all, stay strong. <laughs> Kevin, the best of luck in the competition coming up in Limerick. Uh, attitude, commitment, and preparation. That's what it's all about. And you are perfect on that score and also you know that if you are as good as you can possibly be um, then you can't lose so you put in the work to be as good as you can possibly be so you have nothing to worry about and the best of luck from all of us how are you Kev? The morning after figuring out, figuring out how awkward it is to sit in front of a camera and try and talk into a lens, so I'll give you credit for that first. But uh, it's hard to know where to start. Um, the amount of dedication you've put into the show is unbelievable, but it's beyond the show really that's, that's been the most fulfilling part. You see, I remember it was probably five years ago now you were sitting in a college class writing out drawings of how you wanted the gym to be before you even had a gym and it shows the vision you have in and completing a vision it's like no one else I know you see something you want something and you do it and you achieve it to the exact way you want it which frustrates people at times but it's probably the strongest asset you have um, the the influence you have on others is incredible. Do you know the one thing I'd say about you is that your biggest pet peeve or your biggest annoyance is when people around you that you care about aren't achieving their full potential. And it's the one thing that frustrates you, frustrated you about me at times. But it just shows how how strong of an influence you are on the people around you. And I think this show is definitely something for you that you have put in the work and for you to reap the rewards and for you to enjoy. And you've enjoyed the process. I've seen you from bulk to cut now and I've seen you the whole way across. And each step, no matter how hard it got, you appreciated something more, whether it was the posing, whether it was um, the different stages of whatever you were doing you grew grew into it more and more and you started to appreciate the process more and more so this is for you more than anyone 
you deserve this moment where you can see all your hard work on stage and the people around you can help you on like they have done the whole way. So that's about it. Just good luck on your show and I know you're going to nail it.
<laughs> I think it's just because I'm doing it with his friends. <laughs> yeah. I like, I stress me out. Um, and about him on YouTube. <laughs> if I go south now, cut me out. <laughs> okay. Alright, first question. Um. Jesus, turn that off for a minute. You're going to ask that question again. I'll look straight in the camera now. Go for it, yeah. <laughs> oh, definitely, yeah, yeah. Do you think? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, at the very end, just say it in Polish and say, best look is something. Best look is something. Do one of you ready? Just give me a second. You take all the time you need. Turn it off. No. When you're ready, it's recording now. Oh, no, not again. <laughs> Soon as I say that, this happens. I can edit this. Oh, you start again. Alright, when you're ready, just look at the camera right. when you're ready. No, see what we're doing. When you're ready, man. I'm not gonna. Alright, alright, we'll go again. Alright, go. Stop, stop. No. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Take oh. your time. <laughs> have you that turn? No, it's fine. <laughs> Take your time, it's grand. It doesn't even have to be one word. Whatever you wanna go yeah. with. Well, I'm sorry, I'm like, what Maybe say, I love you. Um. Just show me what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, hold on. Take it, fell in. Just when you're ready, when you're ready, when you're ready. Okay, when you're ready. Well what one list are you telling? Just say, Kev. No. <laughs> People naturally do that. Alright. Okay. Okay, I'm okay. gonna count you. No, Three. No, no, no. Okay, we're well, just going a second. Okay. Okay. Pop on saying I can't. Right, wait now. Three, two, one. It's okay, it's okay. Sorry, so we'll start again. It's, I can edit this anyway. So three, okay. two, one. I can't, you Do the three, two, one again. Okay, okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> I don't want to okay, that's 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 Anthony's done. That's fine. That's yours <laughs> okay, done. Okay. And this goes to Amy. I'll count you in. Literally, just go. Best look ever in the competition. Three, two, one. No, you're wrong. All right. All right. Come on, the time is this, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Alright, so when you're ready. Do your poses. Yeah. There you go. On. <laughs> so literally, go. What are you saying? Just Wait, you yeah, you can't just say go. <laughs> I can edit this, come on. Come on, stand beside each other and say best look ever. That's all I'm saying. You shut the tugs. Can I go? I initially did. Can I go now again? Yeah, go on. Are you still recording? Yeah. Okay. What's his name? Kevin. 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 That's funny, man. <laughs> You're the problem, small kid. <laughs> You're the <fat> problem, bastard. Say anything or lay to you. So. Alright, okay, just in case Keen doesn't let me use that one. No, no, I'm not going to use that one, man. Just, just play fast. Oh, it's recording now. Best look, Kevin. Best look, Kevin. Best look, Kevin. Best look, Kevin. I Come on, he'll come in. <laughs> hey, all right, hey, he's gonna walk through that door. Come on. Three, two. two. No, yeah. What? Is he recording? Yeah. Uh, um. Jay yeah, looks the video. No, but hey, you understand that. All right, when you ready? Say best look, Kev. 
I'm sweating. See you later. <laughs> the last purge. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, we've got it. We have it, we have it, we have it. I can't do that again.